All right, guys. So I got a clip here from question period that just wrapped up a few hours ago. And Pierre Paul Yev just went absolute full savage mode against Justin Trudeau here when they had their little back and forth. And I just want to show you guys that video. And then we'll talk about it after like usual. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, we now learn there are about 40 Liberal MPs that believe that this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost, crime, and corruption. But there's this strange rule in the Liberal Caucus that you need to have permission from the Prime Minister to speak at the microphone. So a Liberal MP wanted to get up and say quadrupling the carbon tax is a bad idea, or doubling housing costs is making people homeless. They can't do it. Will the Prime Minister lift the gag so his Liberal MPs can say to his face that he's not worth the crime, the cost, and the corruption? Once again, in English, uh, none of these questions have to deal with the administration of government. But right, here we go. Better step in, Greg Fergus. that the Prime Minister is rising to his feet, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, it seems that the Conservative leader is con confusing rules of the apply within his Conservative yeah. caucus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good one. At which point the Conservative leader is simply focused on playing politics and gaining power. Uh, that's why uh, he wants to talk about things uh, that are uh, not having to do with delivering for Canadians. He doesn't want to talk about the fact that close to a million Canadians uh, will be receiving dental care because of our Canadian dental program that he says doesn't even exist and that he's voted against every step of the way. Now, ask the Honourable Member from the Battle River Crowfoot uh, to please uh, not take not take the microphone when uh, when the speaker is up on the seat or when uh, other speakers who have been recognized by the speaker is taking the floor. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, I'm sorry to have to bring up this terrible rule. It's just that Liberal backbench MPs are coming and talking to all of us. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that too. Allowed to speak to him. And they're wondering if I could perhaps pose some questions on their behalf. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I guess they, they can't get anywhere with the current Prime Minister, so they'd rather talk to the future common sense conservative. Hey, 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 hey. Instead of silencing his own MPs, will he let them get up to the mic tomorrow to tell him that he's not worth the cost, crime, and corruption? Probably not. Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the reality is he can't administer the government because he's too busy fighting for his job after nine years. Even if his MPs know it. He broke immigration, he doubled the debt, doubled housing costs, doubled crime, doubled the cost of living in a home. He wants to quadruple a carbon tax that's already forced two million people to a food bank. One in four kids to hunger, 25% of Canadians to poverty, Canadian food prices up 36% faster than in the state. StatsCan says we have the biggest gap between rich and poor in our recorded history. His MPs know that he's broke the country. Will he call a carbon tax election so we can fix it? Yeah. like all, all of us in this house know that Canadians are facing challenging times. His solution, however, uh, is to offer them cuts, is to offer them no programs that they can rely on and to vote against things like dental care and pharmacare and investments in a green economy that is going to create jobs and careers long into the future. He wants to harm Canadians where we're focusing on delivering for them. He wants cuts to programs and services while we're busy investing in Canadians and their futures. That's the choice Canadians get to make. All right, so I'm going to cut it off right there. I believe Eves Blanchet comes and talks next. But a few takeaways from that. I mean, at the very beginning, you see that Pierre Polyev mentioned the fact that there is now 40 liberal MPs who apparently 
in a meeting tomorrow are going to confront Justin Trudeau to try to get him to resign, step down, whatever you want to call it, but they want him gone. Now, the reason they want him gone is because they know people won't vote for them in their own writings if Trudeau's at the top of the ticket. So it's not even that these 40 MPs are brave and courageous and they want to fix things for Canada. They, they're just trying to save their own ass. That's all they're doing. That's all this is. So, you know, if for those people who think that, you know, these liberal MPs are waking up, they are, they are too far gone and they're never going to wake up. This is purely a selfish movement. Make no mistake about it. Now, Justin Trudeau also likes to continue to criticize Pierre Polyev on, you know, playing politics because he wants to become leader. No shit, Sparkle Socks. What are you talking about? Of course he wants to play politics and become leader. That's what you did and what you continue to do for the last nine years. Yes, he wants to cut a bunch of your services because A, they suck, they don't work, or they don't work. And they're way too expensive and you're wasting a bunch of money. So, of course, they're going to cut those programs, fix your stupid mistakes, and then make their own programs. That's how this works. But Justin Trudeau, it's not like he doesn't understand it. Or maybe he does understand it and he's just playing politics. See what he's doing? It's unbelievable. Now, the biggest takeaway I had from this was, and I've heard of this before, and I will look up the stats and I'll post that online as well, but there is the biggest gap between the rich and the poor right now than there's ever been. I believe the number, it's like 98% of the money is controlled by 2% of the people. And then 98% of the, the rest of the people get to share 2% of the money. Right? You got CEOs making insane amounts of money. And then you got people who are making, you know, 25 grand a year, which used to be a decent wage, used to be a decent salary. And it's not anymore. You can't do anything with 25 grand a year except struggle. Trudeau knows this. His policies have caused it. And all he can do is blame Pierre Polyev or my favorite, Stephen Harper, who has not been prime minister for nine years. I mean, this guy is just so out of touch. And he's just such a, I don't know if narcissist is the right word. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. What's the best way to describe Justin Trudeau if you had only one word to use? Um. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, please, again, don't forget to leave your opinions, comments, thoughts in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much, guys, for watching, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.